Shout.
smells like nostalgia, right? Yes, this is Marlo. Yes, yes, I understand. I'll take care of that. Mayor, your appointment with the governor seems to be delayed until after next week. Therefore, the report to the city council tomorrow will have to be... Mayor? <sighs> Mayor? Mayor Cody! I'm listening, Miss Marlowe. I'll let you handle the city council report. You are someone who is responsible for 120,000 citizens' lives here in Metro City. So you should take this a little more seriously. I am very serious. I'm even wearing a necktie. Can't you tell? Please, Mayor Cody! Mayor Hagar, who previously held your position, asked me to do my best to support you in taking on this job. But if you can't handle the responsibility, then I'm not doing what I promised him. Yeah, yeah, I get it, Maisie. Huh? Driver! Stop here for a sec! Mayor Cody! Why did we stop so suddenly? I'm doing my job as mayor. Hey, big guy! You, over there! Is this your truck? Uh, what's your problem with it? Illegally, and because I don't like your face, Abigail. What? I want to improve the quality of life for the people of Metro City. I want to see everyone smiling by getting rid of garbage like you. What? Wait. You're Cody! You get sprung from prison? Now that I'm the mayor of Metro City, I have to ensure every citizen's bright future. If you have any complaints, take them up with City Hall. Uh, when Hagar finally left, I thought things were getting better. But now you come along? What the hell's going on in this city? Mayor Cody, why were you so violent? It was just a little conversation with one of my constituents. Every citizen's bright future. Hmm. Sounds like a beautiful slogan. Truth is, it's not that I don't like this city. In fact, that's exactly why I fought to protect this city in the past. Yeah, the world was a much simpler place back then. All I did was just beat up on those who were acting like thugs in the city. And that would pretty much take care of the problem. But now, look at me. I gotta deal with the city council, public hearings, contract bids, lobbying. And the villains are now hiding like shadows, behind a system that protects them. I can't clean up this city by simply beating them up. Even so, I still can't forget about how things used to be. Back then I felt alive, endless painful fistfights one after another. Those were the days. 
Gah, now look how boring it's all gotten. Responsibilities? By the way... I know you're out there. What the hell do you want? You've been following me for a while. Greetings, Mayor Cody. My name is Zeku. Ninja, right? Don't expect me to be impressed. I used to know a guy a lot like you. From digging up scandals on your enemies to private armies, I can certainly help you manage the local government. Sales pitch, huh? Sounds like a dangerous offer. Not quite sure I can get it approved in the city budget. Well, whatever. Since you're here, why don't you show me what you've got? It's not so simple these days to manage a city of this size. I can help support you from the shadows. I can't manage things so simply these days. However, if I did things from the shadows like you suggest, I'd be no better than the people I'm fighting against. Speaking of which, you want to go another round? Let's fight! Oh, uh, Miss Marlowe, it's, uh, you. Who else were you expecting to see, Mayor? Where have you been wandering all this time? I've been calling you. You're mayor of this city. We need to be able to be in contact anytime, anywhere. I understand, Miss Marlowe. I know what my job is. Are you sure about that? Look, you see that street light over there? It's broken and it's dangerous. We need to request funds from the city council to fix it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you can't just say, yeah, yeah. Even for just one street light. Considering the financial situation of the city. Mayor? Are you listening to me? Mayor? Mayor Cody? <laughs> <laughs> 